your Chris 6 weather forecast. That's right, and a very good Tuesday morning, everyone. Well, hopefully you enjoyed some of the sunshine yesterday. If you were up early in the morning, you saw a little bit of some shower activity. We we're hoping for a little bit more uh, with the little disturbance that was moving through. But overall, just led to 300s officially out at the airport, but always better than nothing. And as far as the departure from normal, uh, we're still holding just under about three quarters of an inch above normal for this time of year as we topped off into the upper 60s. And we'll be doing about the same thing uh, for today as well. But overall, there's a live look at downtown Corpus Christi looking a little bit blurry there. Hopefully that fixes itself, but we have clear skies across the region and uh, you're certainly going to need the uh, jacket this morning. 35 degrees, another cold start with the west northwesterly wind uh, below 10 miles an hour. If you like light winds, boaters, mariners, if you're not a kite flyer, you're going to enjoy the next couple of days because we're going to have very light winds across the region. Our water temperature warmed up just a little bit yesterday, 56 degrees. Our seawater temperature, I should say, ranging to 46 off in Port Aransas, 36 off in Beaville, though 34 in Orange Grove and into the upper 30s from San Diego over towards Heavenville and at 35 from Kingsville down towards Falfurias as well. Now, I showed the winds earlier. They're pretty light across the region, but still it's giving us a little bit of a wind chill value, feeling like 29 here in Corpus Christi, 39 off in Rockport into the upper 20s over in Orange Grove, 30 in Kingsville, and feeling right at the freezing point over in Beeville. So be sure to bundle up this morning as you make your way out the door. But as I mentioned, look at this wind. It's uh, really rare that we get to see light winds for several days. In fact, uh, over the next uh, 48 hours, even beyond, we'll be looking at winds below 15 miles an hour and eventually off to the southeast. So as we look at the hour by hour forecast for today, as uh, we help you plan your day on out, we'll start off with the clear skies and maintaining with a uh, Lots of sunshine by 11 o'clock, 59 degrees there. North northeasterly wind only about six. And just look at those light winds all across the day as uh, we'll eventually top off into those upper 60s across the region. We'll try to max out in the low 70s for the inland areas, upper 50s to mid 60s out near the coastline. Marine forecast is a delight out there. Lots of sunshine. Those winds out of the north eventually out of the southeast. So that'll make bays smooth. The seas two to four feet and the rip current risk is going to be on the low side. High tide at Bob Hall Pier, Port Aransas Jetty just afternoon and then later on this evening at Noasis Bay and Packery Channel as well. Pollen counts for today. The mold is on the high end, the tree moderate and the grass and ragweed are off the board, so that's some good news. Satellite and radar composite shows high pressure is in control of our forecast. Rainfall cloud coverage off in the Gulf. And we have a couple of frontal boundaries up to the north, but they're very weak in nature and they're going to miss us. A lot of the cold air has pushed up towards the northeast and that's where that's going to stay. So mild temperatures stay with us through the middle part of the week. It's not going to be until Saturday evening that we see our next frontal boundary that will bring a breezy conditions and only an isolated chance of a shower or two. So very nice. The next couple of days, chilly mornings, milder to end out the week. And then for the weekend, isolated showers, but a nice Super Bowl Sundays on tap.